My name is uh, John Yanidis. Um, I'm a professor of medicine, of health research and policy and uh, statistics at Stanford University. The theme that we will discuss today is about how to improve research practices and uh, make scientific research more credible and more efficient. This is a paper that is uh, practically presenting a mathematical modeling of uh, what are the chances that a research finding that is published in the literature would be true. And uh, it uses uh, different parameters, different aspects in terms of uh, what we know before, uh, how likely it is for something to be true in a field, how much bias there may be in the field, uh, uh, what kind of results we get, and uh, what are the statistics that are presented uh, for the specific result. I have been humbled that this uh, work has uh, drawn so much attention and uh, um, people from uh, very different scientific fields ranging not just uh, biomedicine but also psychological science, uh, social science, even astrophysics uh, and uh, other more remote uh, disciplines have uh, been attracted to uh, what that paper was trying to, to do. Um, since then I have learned from uh, many people within biomedicine beyond uh, about their experiences, both empirical and theoretical uh, insights about uh, research practices and how we could improve them. So it's been a learning experience for me. So the new paper that is uh, coming out in PLOS Medicine uh, is trying to move one step forward uh, and uh, try to navigate uh, the field of how can we make more published research true. Uh, meaning how could we probe and identify the best research practices that lead to the most reliable results and do that in a more efficient manner. Uh, there's lots of very interesting ideas that have been circulating in the scientific literature. Some of them have been tested more rigorously than others. Others are uh, very speculative currently. And uh, I think that there's lots of possibilities that we can see improvements in the efficiency and credibility of uh, scientific results. In that article, I'm trying to uh, present uh, different options. They, they range from uh, things that sound simple, like uh, improving peer review, but may not be so easy when you try to implement them in practice, and other ideas that have been applied to various extents, so the advent of uh, collaborative research and team science, uh, improvements in transparency, uh, limitations, uh, uh, or getting rid of uh, problems of uh, conflicts of interest, uh, improving sharing of uh, data, um, uh, thinking about how to use registration of studies in what settings and when it might be appropriate, and also how to align the different stakeholders who are involved in the scientific process. Beyond scientists, there's many other stakeholders from universities and funders and journals and publishers and the industry and uh, uh, also the general public who would be interested in scientific results for different reasons. The fact that uh, it's so difficult to conduct science, I think it's uh, really telling how important science is. So I, I don't think that science can be replaced by something else. Uh, all these uh, science denialism and there are ramifications thereof, including HIV denialism or uh, climate change denialism or uh, creationism approaches or, or whatever, uh, they're not science. Their, their chances of being correct is practically zero percent. So uh, I think that science is very difficult. We very often get it wrong initially, but hopefully if uh, we use the scientific method, we have a way to improve on our initial errors and try to correct them. This is not easy, and I have to say that when we have just a single study on a given topic, uh, it's extremely difficult to find out. There are some hints. Uh, one could see uh, whether there's conflicts of interest uh, behind the study. One could examine whether it's a study that was um, designed as a complete exploration, in which case you need to wait for some validation, versus a study that had a specific hypothesis to be tested. Uh, one could see whether it was a large, well-designed and well-powered study to address the question of interest, uh, or it's a small study, in which case um, it's likely that uh, the chances that it's false positive or uh, exaggerated will be higher. 
So th there are some hints, but uh, none of those would settle the question forever. I, I, in each scientific finding, we need to have the ability to pursue that further and ideally try to replicate it uh, and ideally do that uh, several times and by independent teams uh, before we can be more certain about its validity.